University of North Florida students have developed a high-tech security system to detect concealed weapons. The project has been such a success that a Baltimore company has moved some of its operations to Jacksonville and has even hired some of the UNF students. First Coast News anchor Deanna Finney got a first-hand look at the finished project, and it's all new for you tonight at 7. It's called Secure Scan by View Systems Incorporated, and this high-tech security system was developed with the help of electrical engineering students at the University of North Florida. UNF has become a, a creative hotbed, and I feel the young individuals have more creative ability and a skill set that sometimes we don't like to admit, but as we get older, we get less creative, maybe too busy. The creators believe this is better than current metal detectors because it will locate threatening objects without hands-on body searching. Current systems out there look for any metallic object, even uh, metals that aren't suitable to make weapons out of. Uh, also, it doesn't, give, um, it doesn't give precise locations of where the objects are located. The secure scan picks up any potentially dangerous metal. For instance, it didn't pick up my watch but it did pick up the pliers I have hidden underneath my shirt. The dot on my right side is an indication of a potential problem. UNF students developed the product with the help of their professor, Dr. John Alexander, and many students were hired on by the company to continue working on it. It was great because I love doing the work that we were doing for Gunther in the past, and he's like, you know, this is working out really nice. Why don't we just make it more permanent? So I didn't even have to go look for jobs when I graduated. It just happened. The hope is one day Secure Scan will be in courthouses, office buildings, and schools across the country. And already, they say, sales are looking very good. In the past day, uh... How about that? The Secure Scan project was funded by the U.S. Department of Justice. A South Florida mother